Well, good afternoon YouTube. Um, I'd like to say it's nice to be back after my uh, week week's absence from making my videos. Um, today's video is a little bit of a tough one for me um, and I must admit I wasn't particularly looking forward to um, recording this video. Today's uh, video is going to be titled a tribute to my friend and the reason for that title is as many genuine survivors and many followers of this targeting program know only too well the program is designed to push mentally physically and psychology psycholo psychology psychologically the individual, the targeted person, to such a degree of learned helplessness that they have no choice other than to stop the pain. And when I mean stop the pain, I mean take their own life. This past week, um, well, it was about a week ago now, I was informed of the very very sad news um, of the death of a friend, not only a friend but also a fellow target person by the name of Phil Leak. Phil Leak was probably one of the first genuine UK TIs that I came across many years ago he was probably one of the first UK genuine TIs on YouTube talking about and trying to expose the targeting he has got a number of videos that he has presented over the years um, showing corruption targeting explaining as best he could what was going on his mother was completely and utterly convinced by, uh, about his targeting because she witnessed it on many occasions but was powerless to do anything to stop it Phil was a strong dude you know and we clicked from the point of first contact a few many years ago four, three, four, five years ago and um, and Phil was actually the first uh, the first targeted individual that I suggested we uh, then TI television um, that we highlight his story and take his testimony which was done um, in the wrong fashion in my opinion um, Phil had an alcohol problem he used alcohol uh, as a lot of TIs do to hide and mask the horrendous treatment and daily torture that they go through but one thing that I've always said is please please do not use alcohol, do not use drugs, do not use any form of substance to cloud your judgment. As a target person, um, as a survivor of the targeting, <clears throat> one of the things that carried me through was having the clarity of mind to understand exactly what was happening around me. Now, I've, do, I've done and have done and I've talked about the issues of isolation and how dangerous the isolation can be to a targeted person. Not only have we lost a friend, but his mother has lost a son, his brother's lost a brother, his, their family have lost a loved one. And the targeting of Phil Leap was so overt, as you will see if you go back and, and view some of his um, last videos. Where he is explaining in detail how bricks were being thrown through his window, people were breaking into his home. His poor dog, I don't know what, what's happened to his dog. I have been in communication with his mum. I've, know, I've known his mum for a number of years. <laughs> and there's still no report as to exactly the reason what killed Phil. 
Um, but I must admit, it knocked me sideways. And the last person I thought we would ever lose would be Phil Leak. He was by no means an angel, but he was a human being and he was my friend. And now he's dead. It just brings into context all of the recent past few months or year or so of all the um, comical, pathetic clowning around on YouTube that I must admit I did partake in and did get drawn into like obviously having the connection with Brian Harvey who is still fighting on in his own way and I wish him all the best but if the loss of life the loss of a young man his picture I'm going to put his picture up as today's thumbnail in um, in respect for him and his mother and as a tribute to a brave courageous man who was pushed finally to his limits. This program is designed to kill human beings with what's called a no-touch torture system. It is an array of varied attacks from, ve from a, a varied directions including electronical <laughs> attacks which is what I'm going to be going through after I've spoken about Phil today. But I just felt it was my duty not only as his friend not only as a friend of his mother but also as a fellow human being to give tribute to Phil Leak. Phil Leak is now dead Phil Leak is now gone but he will fight on he will fight on through people like me who will not lay down, who will not shut up, who will not go away and allow these cowardly actions to continue without me trying my darndest to prevent and stop and save lives which is sadly wasn't the case with Phil. So all of this, like I said, all of this pathetic trolling bullshit, you know, all of this pathetic video making and slandering and all of that sort of stuff. I can't really talk about my personal situation when it comes down to that because my family was dragged into it and the police are now involved. And there's an investigation that's been opened about the, uh, the dickhead that was contacting on my family members. So that's something else that I'm going to run through today as well, show you the process to um, prevent and stop and hopefully prosecute anybody that offers any form of abuse, threatening behaviour, threats, physical threats to an individual online. There is a process that can be used, which I used, and I will explain that in detail and hopefully find the links and put the links up in today's description box. Quite somber. Uh, video today as I, as I stayed I, I wasn't looking forward to doing this video uh, to be honest with you I wasn't even looking forward to coming back to YouTube but I'm a man of my word and not only did I give my word to Phil's mum who is going to report back to me as to the what happened to Phil after the post-mortem has taken place so for anybody that um, is going around saying this and saying that yeah, I mean, you mean you're talking out of uh, you're talking out of place because nobody knows the exact details of what happened to Phil but I can assume that the truth won't be told he will come back that he took an overdose of some kind of psychotronic um, medication that he was forced to take as many targeted people are forced to take his mental health team knew exactly what was going on with Phil and they found him the police knew exactly what was going on with Phil and they found him the establishment had found yet another human being in the UK who was basically targeted to death 
to his dying day. I wonder what Sick Troll's going to make of that. Not a game anymore, is it? Harsh reality of the targeting program. Like I've been trying to tell and warn people of for over two or three years now on YouTube. This is the harsh reality of the targeting program. The death of a young, strong, young man who, like I said, was no angel, but he was a human being and no human being deserves to be treated the way that that man was treated. No, no human being deserves to go from this world in a fashion like Phil Leak was taken from this world, was pushed to what I'm assuming to take his own life in some fashion. Maybe there was more nefarious uh, actions that were taking place at the time, but it was only a few, literally a few days before he was found dead that he was communicating with me. I'm not going to show his messages because out of respect. Uh, and he was telling me how he wants to come down to the protest and he's really looking forward to it and if he can make it down, he'll make it down and very, very positive and upbeat. And then literally a couple of days later, he was dead. Is that serious enough for you? Is that harsh enough for you to understand? Maybe you do not understand some of you people out there. It seems at the moment that since I started the organisation of this protest, um, all of these coincidences and all of these mysterious deaths and harassment and threats to my family has all appeared seemingly overnight. Now what a bloody coincidence that is. Now I don't know, I'm not assuming anything, but it seems to me that there seems to be some kind of objection, possibly subliminal messaging type scenario going on. But as these cowards are only capable of doing things from afar and subliminally. It makes no difference to my actions, my activism, my acting as an advocate for the targeted community in the UK. Targeted UK website has had infiltration from certain people that I was involved with in the past utilizing people as puppets to manipulate and infiltrate and disturb and create havoc within the targeted UK website. The same person that thought it was ideal to go down and video Phil Leak and himself getting absolutely stinkingly drunk over a very long weekend, utilising money that um, was given to TI Television for other means, shall we say. I introduced Phil to that man. I introduced Phil to TI Television as I introduced most 95% of the people that were that had their testimonies and were filmed when I was involved with TI Television. The chap that's continually coming out with further bullshit with his own agenda, with his own overinflated ego, has given no time. He put a post up about Phil. He didn't know Phil. He didn't know and he doesn't know hardly any of the people that I put into into TR television. He's very deceitful individual and I would suggest that anybody that comes across him stays very very distant from this very pathetic little super soldier of a man nothing super about you fella alcohol 
played a big part in the demise of Philip Leak. Philip, Philip, Phil Leak. Sorry, bud. <laughs> He's probably up there going, you fucking idiot. I'm saying your name's Philip for. <laughs> Jill, my heart goes out to you. I can only imagine what you and your family are going through at this sad time. Um, I'm sorry. There was nothing that could be done to prevent this from, from happening. It's happened, he's gone. And who will be next? When will or what will the number of deaths be to be enough? How many lives need to be lost or taken? before enough is enough. I suppose only time will tell that and give the answer to that question. But until then we must fight on. We must keep looking to try and expose as best we can what is going on in this fucked up country of ours at the moment. There is so much dark evil lurking within the realms of British society that seems to be getting more and more blatantly confident and showing their dark actions to the to a wider audience as time goes by. You know, if anybody want, if anybody has ever heard of Hell on Earth, then for a certain amount of people that are definitely living it. The people conducting this program are psychopathic, absolutely psychopathic, nut nut cowards. Trolls are a fucking prophetic joke. They're a laughable. Anybody that is having trouble with trolls, and I see the Brian is still toing and froing with these uh, with these trolls. And um, to be honest with you, I haven't got time to be dealing with that kind of bullshit. I wish Brian I'd be the best of luck and my support for Brian will stay you know Brian could phone me tomorrow saying Shane I am stuck I need you to come and get me and I'll be in my in my car and I'll go and to wherever he is and get him that's the level of commitment and support that I will show Brian Harvey but I cannot get involved in all of this pathetic to in and fro in with chocolate sprinkles and all of that sort of stuff and on another note Brian, if you are watching this, I was sent some very, very interesting photos um, of a certain individual um, with initials I, first name being Ian, and his surname begins with P. With, or the picture was with somebody that resembles somebody that you are having, and most of us have had some kind of running with um, that I call chocolate sprinkles. So if you want a copy of that, just give me a shout and I'll uh, and I'll fire a copy over. But it seems that there's a lot more connection going on with the Brian Harvey stuff and the trolls and the people that Brian are trying to expose. Then maybe Brian knows directly. There are a lot of people working behind the scenes to expose and are doing a great job in finding out some very, very personal details about these now not so anonymous trolls and good I hope you continue you know, my job's more important my job is to save lives I couldn't save Phil and that is something that I've got to live with it's heartbreaking to know that a few words might have for a few words from someone might have saved this young man's life and he will still be here but instead his pain is over now, his, his fight is over um, but he will fight on and he will fight on through my heart I will continue to fight on for the targeted community as best I can along with living alongside what I deal with on a daily basis as well as trying to rebuild my life and earn a living etc 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 
I spent yesterday fabricating frames and putting together uh, printing uh, jobs for the protest in August, August 29th outside the BBC that is most certainly taking place. And if we want to get some attention, then that will be the day that we get the attention. I can guarantee the visibility of that protest of us outside the BBC will be seen for miles and miles around. As I've stated before, I've put my heart and soul into this protest and will spend my own money. And, and on that note, I've just received a, a donation <laughs> um, from Jen. Hello, Jen. I must, I must thank you for, for that. It's quite rare that I get um, the opportunity to thank somebody for a donation because most of the time the monies are coming out of my pocket. But there has been a couple along the way and um, the money that you have donated will pay towards some of the banners and pop-up banners and flyers and posters and stuff that, um, that has cost me a lot of money over the past couple of months. But it's for a good cause and um, hopefully will be worth every penny. We need to expose this targeting program before more people like Phil's lives are lost to this inhumane treatment that is known and allowed to continue by the mental health sector. One of Phil's care workers knew what was going on. His mother saw endless amounts of evidence that proves her son was being targeted. But like I said, she was powerless to do anything about it. We need to have a presence on August the 29th outside the BBC that will bring awareness to what is happening in this country in secret. It's not a secret around the world. In the UK, it seems to be something that they do not, possibly cannot allow to be exposed to a wider audience. So outside the BBC, we will be, hopefully we will have some form of media presence. We are looking for somebody to, well we're thinking about, um, one of the things that and suggestions that I keep, I mean, I don't do Facebook, I mean, I'm sick to death of Facebook. And there's a lot of people that are trying to get involved with um, and, and come up with ideas through Facebook about loudspeakers and testimony. You know, I've been watching too much stuff that's going on with in other countries that are properly organised. Now, this is a peaceful protest that I'm arranging under the guise of Targeted UK. Any loudspeakers, any tannoys that are utilised will not be part of the protest that I'm arranging. It will be a peaceful protest. There will be no loudspeakers, there will be no megaphones for people to shout whatever they feel they need to shout out, trying to do their bit. You will not be part of my protest. You will not be part of our targeted UK protest. Feel free to go and set up your own protest in another area. But please do not infiltrate and please do not bring negative attention to such an important topic where human life is in question. Lives are being lost on a regular basis. Losing feel uh, was a shock to me, and it knocked me sideways for for a while. And you know, I don't deal with grief that well. Just me, I suppose. But I need to honour what Phil went through. I need to show respect to Phil and his family and his mother. 
and highlight the fact that, it's, that her son was in no question a targeted individual that was pushed so hard that I'm assuming he took his own life which is generally the outcome that the targeting program looks for. As I've stated many many times before in my videos. So I salute you Phil. No more pain bruv. No more pain. And no more training. Fuck. <laughs> Unless you've got a gym up there. You know, gym, uh, Phil was an avid, <coughs> an avid weight trainer. Um, I'm not quite sure um, whether it, what whether it was into the martial arts side of things like I am or I was in my younger days. But he was a fit as a bull. He was a strong, physically and mentally strong young man that was. being fouled and being let down by the very people that take an oath and are paid to protect and serve people like Phil. They fouled him. They're failing every other target person that has lost their life due to the targeting over the years. The target community is being fouled right, left and centre. And now is the time to stand up and start uniting and the unification for the targeted community not only here in the UK but on a global as from a global aspect is is a, is so essentially needed it's just it's getting beyond a joke now but who's going to be next who, who, who who's next who's, who, who's going to be dead next who's whose tribute am I going to be giving next whose obituary are we, are we going to be reading next with some bullshit about mental health problems and suicide, suicidal tendencies and bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. That's how they use, and this is what they say to cover up the murders, the forced murder suicides that are taking place around the UK and around the world due to existential targeting of innocent individuals, human beings with hearts and families. Are losing their lives to some of the most hideous inhumane treatment a human being can be confronted with some will fall and some will not he was a fellow comrade he was a fellow warrior in this war because that's what this is this is a war it's a silent war against them and us a different type of war a different type of fighting a cowardly war fought by cowards against brave individuals who try to survive and try and expose what some of us do. The rest of them just sit on their asses doing nothing, waiting for everybody else to save them. Now that, and then that's over. Them days are finished. Until you all get off your asses, you could be the next afterfield. Reality check people. The targeted individual program kills people. Is that not sink in? It kills people. We have got hordes of cowards running around like rats, pushing people to their deaths, and not one member of the establishment is addressing this horrific topic. Mainstream media are touching. Which is why we'll have posters from the ITV gang stalking report outside the BBC and, and with questions like why are the BBC not reporting on gang stalking and targeting? You don't think stalking takes place? Let me just read you a little uh, let me just read you a little article here that I pulled out of uh, a paper the other day. 
Stalker's Town KO, right? So if if the um, if the information about a young man dying who has blatantly been a targeted individual and has been and has a had a public presence through YouTube, through Facebook, through social media for many years, claiming and giving evidence proving his targeting. Nah, of course it don't happen. It's all in your imagination. Well, let's read this little article. Stalker's Town KO is the title. A neighbour from hell who terrorised locals for 17 years has been banned from his town for life. Peter Johnson, 58, was arrested on suspicion of assault in 2002. When the case was dropped, he targeted those who gave evidence against him. He accused residents, one in their 90s, of being cannibal Nazis and of sexual abuse with no evidence. He threatened to stab one, grinned menacingly at others for hours on end and posted funeral brochures to the elderly in Old Sega, Cheshire. John admitted stalking involving serious distress at Chester Crown Court and got two years, four months in prison. That was one man, one man created that nightmare for that whole town. Can you imagine what groups of organized psychopaths like that fucking fool had the capabilities to do to an individual person? Fucking wake up for fuck's sake, start putting the dots together because you could be next. You could be on this list next. You could be on the obituary list next. Your life could be lost lost next. Phil didn't deserve to go out of this world the way he did, whatever way that was. No one desire, de uh, deserves to be pushed so horrendously by cowards from afar that they have no other option or feel they have no other option but to take their life as what I'm assuming Phil did this has to stop and I will continue and I will <laughs> progress as far as I possibly can to highlight and expose the horrific treatment that so many individuals in the UK are going through and are being ignored. They're being ignored because it's the very same people that are ignoring them that are involved in it, in the majority of the cases. Mental health, police, social workers, etc, etc, etc. The system is fake. The reality is that most of you live in are an illusion. But that's, um, but that's another story altogether. <sighs> so the biggest respect to any and all targeted people that are showing gumption and showing bravery and courage by standing up and trying to expose what's happening to them. I very much look forward to meeting so many of you down outside the BBC on the 29th of August. I will be at a meet up point from 10am in the morning that I will um, make public uh, a few weeks before the event. The forum and the chat option on the website that um, the Target UK website has been shut down due to, as I mentioned earlier, infiltration um, involving some completely and utterly mentally ill people. Fact. Divide and conquer is one of their tactics. Order out of chaos is one of their sayings. <clears throat> Making innocent individuals kill themselves seems to be one of their many talents. So let's make August the 29th a day of not only exposure, public awareness, but also in admiration and as a tribute 
to our fallen comrades, such as Phil, David, oh, do you know what? I've got a list as long as your arm of people that have fallen due to their targeting, whether it be through induced rapid cancer, eating them alive, suicidal, whatever things, suspicions, suspicious things going on that don't ever get brought out into the public realm. Now, I didn't choose to do this. I didn't choose to be an advocate for the targeted community. But nobody else was willing to stand up. Nobody else was willing to put themselves on the line from a logical, grounded perspective. Not only someone who has survived and lived to tell the tale, but is also, I like to think, helped a lot of people along my way as I get, as people tell me on a regular basis. Now this is not about ego, this is not about likes, this is not about subscriptions, this is not about personal agendas, this is about a, a problem with humanity that needs to be addressed. And if it's not addressed, then more will die, more deaths will take place, more suspicious killings will become apparent. This needs to be stopped. And the only way that we can stop this, the only way that we can begin to even start to get this hideous program stopped is to is by public awareness, boots on the ground, protests, peaceful protests are our only option at this stage. That is, that's the way that I can see it. So after the August the 29th protest, we will continue to arrange probably monthly protests in various parts of the country. And we'll pick up our activism. We will pick up our public awareness campaign. We will continue pumping this information out to the general public of the country as best as we possibly can with the resources that we've got at our disposal. I still can't believe he's gone. I still can't believe he's dead. And um, so let's, you know, I'm, I don't want to get upset online, um, but Bill was my friend. He was my friend whom we spent many hours conversing over the years about this and that and you know supported each other and talked of, of our own experiences and the ways that we combated them and etc 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 um, but that was still not enough to say it. So, biggie shout out to you, Mr. Phil Leak. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, I hope that you are at peace. I hope there's a gym up there, so you're working out at the same point, at the same time. Because I know that you enjoyed that side of your life. I'm a little bit concerned about what's happened to your dog, but I should speak to your mum about I'm speaking to Phil. I'm not the religious kind as most of you know but I am quite a spiritual person quite a stubborn individual a certain type of person that doesn't take shit from moronic idiots why oh, they've decided to leave me alone Oh, since moving to Sheerness, I've got no idea. I can only put it down to this the area that the island is situated. Small community, one way on, one way off. 
I can't think of any other reason why they would have stopped what they were doing to me in Ashford. Well, that's a question I don't really care. I don't care what the answer is, but I need to continue. I need, you know, what I don't. Like I was saying earlier on in this video, you know, it seems to be like a collaboration. All of a sudden, I'm getting all of this extra. Uh, rah, 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 shit from trolls, shit from that, shit from this, shit from that, and then friends fucking dying and rah, rah, all around the time I'm organising the, the protest. Hmm. Have a little fucking ponder about that one, shall we? You're wasting your time. You're making me more fucking annoyed. I will continue. Not back off. I don't fear you. Fucking cowards. You're pathetic. As are all your fucking minions. And one day you will all be judged. For your actions. So make the most of the time. Because we all go at one point. At some point we all come in the same. We all go out the same. But where we go is... Obviously, a question that most people would like the answer to. <laughs> Nobody knows for real. Only time will tell, I suppose. Karmic debt is a real thing. And it will come to each and every one of you who deserve it. So I hope you enjoy whatever it is that you've got coming to you. Because I can guarantee every one of you have got something coming. Phil was also attacked and targeted with electronic harassment. And a lot of people don't seem to get the idea of how what is electronic harassment? And and what it doesn't exist and all that you know, even with diplomats getting targeted in foreign countries and you know, getting Doctors saying, oh, they've been attacked with some kind of microwave energy device and blah, blah, electromagnetic signals and all that sort of stuff. And all of the general population are like, what the fuck is a directed energy weapon? Let me give you a basic electromagnetic weapons 101 basic lesson. Anybody seen some of these before? It's quite uh, the sort of thing that's been out for many years. Now this is a pest away rodent and insect repeller. Jamie we can't get one for gang stalking motherfuckers. Do you suffer from unwanted visitors? Like ants, mosquitoes, flies, cockroaches, not to mention mice and other rodents? Well don't worry, help is at hand in the shape of pest away rodent and insect repeller humane and harmless to these pests it uses electromagnetic and ultrasound technology that create a force field up to 300 square meters in area this invisible barrier not only drives away small creatures it keeps them away for good with electromagnetic in frequencies. You get that? Let's sink in. Oh, there's another one. Easy life. The humane and harmless way to keep pests out of your garden. You can find these in, in any hardware store in most high streets. Activated by movement up to 9 meters within a 110 degree range. The passive infrared solar pest repeller has been designed specifically to scare away unwelcome intruders with a powerful blast of harmless ultra sound electromagnetic frequencies. Sinking in? Right, so this has been happening. They have got they have had technology to keep rats and mice and cockroaches. Sadly no gang stalkers at the moment, but I'm sure they will in time now we'll come across something that will, can, can be used against scumbags like that so the electromagnetic frequencies is the way that most directed energy weapons are formulated and um, what they utilize to harm or repel as in 
the insect and rodent repellers. Do you understand that? Is that is that basic enough? Right, okay. So that's a living being that an electromagnetic frequency can harm. Now let's talk about the human versions, shall we? Alright, I mean I, I urge as many of you as possible to go and take it some print offs from this morning. Right, go and visit a, a website called shomatech.com. Shoma as in Shomatech. Shomatech are obviously getting quite a lot of feedback because they used to call these devices, which is what I'm going to explain and read through the details of what they're selling in a moment. They used to use and class these devices as revenge weapons available to military and police specialty police and military equipment they used to be under they used to have a section called on Shomatech revenge weapons right, this is one of the revenge weapons that used to be under the revenge weapons seg segment on Shomatech's website Shomatech so it's Shoma S-H-O-M-E-R hyphen T-E-C dot com it's there for all to see Sonic Nausea device. Let's read the description of this little device that costs probably not a lot more. That's to harm humans. That is to repel rodents and animals and insects. Let's read the description of this very cheap device that can cause a lot of harm and distress to a human being $39 you can buy one of these for Sonic Nausea is a small electronic acoustic generating device which can really turn one's stomach it generates a unique combination of high pressure sound waves which soon leads most in its vicinity to queasiness they change the wording as well it can also cause headaches, intense in irritation, sweating, imbalance and nausea. Hiding this device in your inconsiderate neighbour's house might put an end to their late night parties. The abusive bureaucrat's office, the executive lunchroom. The possibilities are endless for that small portion of inventive payback or revenge. Its sound wave characteristics make directional source determination difficult. This is the latest version Sonic Nausea featuring an enhanced custom built transducer which provides triple the pressurized output of the previous one. So it's a new model that's three times more as powerful. Great. Powered by one 9 volt battery which is included which can power the unit for up to 100 hours of continual use. Each unit can cover the average sized room. Use with extreme discretion or you might get found out. Coppers. So there's one blue device. That and that similar technology just tuned to different frequencies. Does that make any sense yet? Is it sinking in yet? Electronic harassment, 39 fucking dollars. Make you puke your fucking guts up. 1999, that's 20 pounds. So that's 20 pounds, that's 39 dollars. So that's probably 10 pounds dearer than the one you can buy to use to harm insects and repel rodents. <laughs> fucking kidding me seriously I also hear a lot of targeted people talking about how they're getting burnt and they're getting they're getting all of this weird symptoms in their homes and they're finding this weird dust everywhere so also from shamatech.com you can buy another product under their spy and clandestine range of products. This one's called Panic Powder. Yeah, Panic Powder. I 
I'm assuming most of you can work out what that what this um, what this powder does. But for anybody that um, needs clarification, special special sure, 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 special ingredient panic powder. This innocent looking dust is actually a powdered OC, the same OC that's used in pepper sprays. Just imagine the surprise when this dust gets airborne or stuck to one's fingers after a light dusting on, for example, a keyboard in someone's home. Use with extreme discretion as this is a very potent product packaged in squeeze bottle applicator for ease of deployment. $11. Panic powder. What's that? Fiver. You also hear about targeted people talking about how they are out in the street, and that sometimes they get a little bit of. I mean, it feels like someone's spraying stuff at them. Well, they could be using the special ingredients, shit slinger. <laughs> yeah which is a combination of syringes sold in a package. Let me read the description for you. The latest addition to the popular special ingredients line, the Shit Slinger Action Pack, is an easy to use instant deployment system that can remotely mark an object or person with a high visibility purple stain or with a diarrhea stench. <laughs> nice. It provides special launchable formulations of dewdrops and purple rain, enabling discreet applications from up to 20 feet away from the chosen target. Applications range from a surveillance tracking marker to a revenge tool. The kit contains four pre-filled projecto de projector devices. Two Two. Sorry about that. The kit contains four free two with diarrhea, one with purple stain, and a water filled training unit for target practice. Warning will cause staining. Only use an extreme caution and discretion. Made in the USA. And you can actually You can actually buy that for fourteen dollars. About nine quid. And then we have specialty police and military equipment, special ingredients, health, fire and brimstone powder. Don't get this vial of concentrated discomfort on you. It itches, it stings, it burns. It's like a thousand, it's like thousands of fire ants biting you all at once. The only good news about it is that it eventually wears off and stops. For external use only, warning, not to be used on others without their consent. Nine dollars. Powder. And this is the full range of disgusting chemicals and powders and fluids and liquids that you can be utilised by gang stalkers, targeted people, on targeted people. and at a cost of just a few pounds or dollars. Is that real enough? Is that real enough? What about that? Is that real enough? Or this one? Is that one? Is that real enough for people to understand what the fuck I'm talking about? The comparison between that And that hurts humans, hurts animals and insects, hurts humans, $39, repels and hurts animals and rodents, £20, not a big variation in cost, apart from this one, can make your, well, the chosen victim or target feel very, very unwell, very, very, very minimal cost. Basic equipment, I would say, 
utilized by rogue companies people involved in the targeting etc 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 and so it goes on how much more fucking proof do people need this protest is going ahead and I will put my fucking darndest into making this protest the biggest and most successful eye-opening public awareness protest event the UK has ever seen not only for the sake of targeted people in this country and around the world but in tribute and in honour of people like Phil Leake, my friend who was murdered and died and targeted to death by cowards right here in the UK documented on YouTube well known, fully known by his mother and brother who were helpless to do anything to help Phil his mental health team that were monitoring his social media the police who were also monitoring his social media I wonder which one of them got the bonus for for, uh, for, for that one, for Phil because you know, there's rumours that go around the community and it's like oh well, yeah whoever uh, whoever's on duty at the time when the uh, when the targeted individual kills themselves gets a bonus I wonder what that bonus may be probably financial monetary gain worth it yeah well done just about sums up what I wanted to go through today biggest biggest respect goes out and all of my love and, and best wishes go out to Bill's family this shouldn't have happened they shouldn't be allowed to get away with what they've done to your son but he will fight on through me he will remain in my heart as he will in many others forever and all you others out there stop fucking making up lies about what happened to him because you're full of shit you don't know fuck all I will tell you exactly what I know as and when I get to know it but please stop making assumptions and please stop making up rumours that are basically putting fear within the community get off your asses and start working on ways to get to the BBC studios or BBC broadcasting house on the 29th of August this year at 2pm or in the morning at 10am at the meetup point start being part of the solution and stop being part of the problem grow the fuck up we are we're talking about human life here and there's nothing funny nothing comical about the loss of innocent life that's it for this week I trust you all well I trust you all staying strong please take on board some of what I told you today this is no game this is no fucking online trolling bullshit that's, that's irrelevant it makes this is real a man's life has been lost here in the UK due to his targeting let's unify let's come together and try and prevent any more deaths from taking place that's all we can do So I thank you for taking the time to watch. Um, I will leave the comments open and um, and I'll probably leave some of the filth that some of the trolls are probably going to comment about Phil in the comment section, just to show the level of intelligence these people don't have. So stay strong, TIs. Thanks to all of my non-targeted viewers and subscribers and people that follow what I talk about. People that are getting involved. Oh, quickly, um, live stream. We need somebody. We need someone with filming um, with a decent camera that can go online because we're thinking about live streaming the whole protest. Um, we're not talking about giving out. I mean, like I mentioned earlier, no loudspeakers, no 
tannoy, is no people standing up giving testimonies because that's not what is this is all about. This is a peaceful protest in honour of fallen people that have lost their lives due to the targeting, as also is an opportunity to show as much information and create as much public awareness as we possibly can in a peaceful way, in a peaceful fashion. Infiltrators don't fucking even dare. You will be removed. I can guarantee you. I know there's various people out there that have um, got some kind of I don't know, vendetta. And I'm not talking about the targeting. I'm talking about supposed targeted individuals that seem to think that they've got some kind of vendetta to take Shane Gibbs down. Now, if a fucking establishment of a country can't do it, do you really think you've got much fucking chance? You fool. KLP, you fool. Daryl C, you fool. Cowards from afar, keep all cowards. Or, or alternatively, you're more than welcome to come down with my banners that I left you, that I paid for, for TI television, and come and join the protest. Do your part, rather than floating your own fucking boat, as you have done this week. Daryl, I bet you feel like a monkey now, don't you? Little puppet boy. Oh yeah, go and do that, and I'll teach you how to do documentaries. Ooh, fuck it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to go down that road. That's it for this week. Take care. Anybody that wants to get in touch, please feel free to contact me <laughs> on at Shane at target, targetedukcom and um, and I'll get back to you as and when I can. So for this week, take care. Look out for each other, and I'll see you all again real soon. Take care. Bye for now.